Here's one last little spot that floods. Just north of the MacArthur, this is 14th Street, next to the Omni Station, Adrian Arched, Omni Station. Um, this is about close to two hours past high tide, and it's still here. This got much, much deeper to the point of, I know, I, I know that at least at one point, it uh, covered both lanes, or made it at least reach the, the lanes over there, and it was well up into this grass, you can tell by the wetness there. So this is a pretty bad spot to be this bad. So if this is two hours after the tide, it's like this. Remember, there's a reaction time, but we can still assume it was like this, starting, well, at least more than an hour before the tide, just like in Brickell. So this isn't, you know, a five minute thing at the exact high tide. This is hours of, you know, salt water flooding onto some main roads here. So you can see that it's flowing back uh, west to east, back out to a drain to the bay. It's not going west to east because that's where the bay is. It just happens to be that's where the drain is, it's taking it in. But just the fact that it's flowing, you can tell this isn't, this isn't stable right now. This is, this is changing, and at this time it would be going down. So you can see it extended quite a ways. Oh, look at that. It made it deep enough to be, it needs a couple more inches to reach up to the curb. And it needs four inches to reach over the curb, or it could be splashed. See, that makes a huge wave right there. So that, that kind of fucks up the measurement here. I was going to say, it's been up to this tree because the water, but it might have been only halfway up the curb and got splashed into this tree, tree basin here. There's a street lighting thing, electricity stuff in the ground here. So salt water is pretty bad for things in, in most cases. Uh, it's, yeah. So there you can see this is, this is a pretty bad spot.